Mm. Let's film this video because I'm ready to talk my shit. Mentally preparing to talk to men. You can do this. It's really it's like talking to cardboard, but you know, we're gonna talk to the defaults. You guys heard of that one on TikTok? That was like the new thing of the straights. It's just their defaults. We are the alphabet mafia, the lay dollar beans of the alphabet mafia, and they're the defaults. I love that shit. I wanted to create this video like I did with the last one where I had that character and I was being sarcastic the whole time, but I, I, I just can't even do it for this one. I need to tell you guys this. It is what it is. You feel me? Like, we're just gonna talk facts. This entire video, I hope you're ready because it's, there's gonna be zero argument after this. Like, you're not gonna have anything to say. And if you really feel compelled, you're gonna get trashed in the comments by the lesbians. Proceed at your own risk. We vicious out here, and it's been a topic of conversation on TikTok, so there was a lot of guys like this motherfucker. Uh, I'm strictly gay, I only like girls. Why she you strap on you, huh? What she gotta do though? Cut, cut, boost speed. Why she gotta be boo, huh? And these motherfuckers. Y'all nigga highlight the summer. Sun down the sun up. Just say a mask stole your girl, bro. If a mask girl or a stud broke your heart, that's all you had to say. Usually when we create content, we're taking time out of our minds to think about something. That is something that's living rent free in here, right? And you feel so compelled to talk about it and put it out on the internet, either for clout, a personal heartbreak, or a personal incident. Content is just content until it's not. So for you to go out of your way to do something like that shows us you care. Like they really feel the need to insult us just because that's the only way they know how to communicate at this point. Through anger, through hatred, through bullshit. So the trend is lately a lot of men are coming for us because we're so openly talking about our sexual preferences, including the big one, the strap. We are here to discuss the differences between the strap and the real thing. Okay, we're gonna have this argument, right? The real thing. Let me think. So you're saying that things that aren't real aren't legitimate. That's what you're saying. That just because it is not attached to you and is an add-on, therefore it's illegitimate. Okay, let's talk about that. What about those women that wear nails, hair, eyelashes, makeup, all those things that you find really attractive on a woman, right? Oh, that's not legitimate anymore. It's fake, she's fake. She got plastic surgery, she's fake. Oh, but what's that? You, you don't hear that until they're sexually interested in you. Then it's a different story, right? Because all those illegitimate things that aren't real, they don't matter, right? Oh, okay, all right, let's keep talking about it. Real things, oh, you know what else comes to mind? Testosterone, them girls love their muscles. They fake, it's not legitimate anymore. So all that attraction you're feeling, all that male validation you're trying to get doesn't count. Gotcha. Oh, and let's also peel off the fact that a lot of y'all have no hair and you're getting those hair replacements that's not real. But, but that's a legitimate fade, right, bro? A little enhancement. Also, the times that you can't even get up, you go to those pills that help. Things that are literally made for that. So if you got somebody off and you were on that, that doesn't count. Okay. We want to all cancel that, right? That whole terminology that because it's real is better. So let's take that out of the conversation. I think we all agreed on that. Okay, let's talk about the argument that it's silly. It's weird if a woman does that to another woman that looks like a man. Isn't that silly? That's so goofy. Why would anybody do that? Okay, let's use that argument. You don't get mad when it's a feminine woman doing it to another woman. I know a lot of y'all have that kink. Oh yeah. How about just lesbian porn in general? Like 99% of it is made for you. The two feminine women right now kiss in front of you. Oh, you get hard, right? That's sexy, right? Uh-huh, the male gaze. Gotta love that. So now you're exposing your bias. Oh, because it's a masculine woman? It's not attractive, it's weird. Gotcha. Oh, but let's see, if you take out the masculine woman and you just have the dildo and the feminine one? Oh, I'll watch that. Yeah, that's sexy. It's sexy to watch her do something to herself. Mm. Got it. The true kink that a lot of y'all have is that you wish a woman would really like you like that. Oh, yeah, like they're so about you. The fantasy is that they want you so bad because you're so hot and you're so sexy and you have the best dick ever. How could they ever do that with another woman that's not even a real man? You need that real man, real woman intimacy. The real, right? It goes back to the real. There's no intimacy between that. You can't feel it. You can't feel it. I'm gonna get into that in a second. But the intimacy is really interesting because it's like, besides the fact that we share anatomy, like we are literally the same being, and we have the same parts, that's just showing your sexism. There you are saying that, oh no, men are superior. They deserve a woman that looks like that. The way you guys speak, the comments you make, expose you. You can't stand to see a woman be with someone that is not a real man. You're fake, right? 
They're calling us wannabes. They really think that we copy them, that we are taking from them to become who we are. Masculinity in general is universal. It's expressed in many ways. As a man, you see clothes that I have on as yours, right? It's made for you. But really, clothes are just clothes. And the fact that I have to make this entire video specifically to talk to you guys to get some sense into y'all says so much. I have to dedicate an entire video to this. But anyway, so yeah, besides the fact that we share the same anatomy, intimacy you would think would be stronger than a man's, no? Because there's so many differences between everything. <laughs> everything, right? So, but then there's women, there's differences, but it's not like that. It's like, it's like that, you know? You gotta, I like this type of music. I like this position. Intimacy for lesbians can literally be someone you've never even touched. Women will die for each other. The power of a lesbian's love is top tier. Like gay men are there, straight couples can be there, but lesbians, two very emotional beings, that takes it to the top top. So when that's happening and then you're having sex, it's nothing, nothing can compare. Just imagine a woman being like that, how you watch all that porn and you wish that would happen with the actual person in front of you. Like they actually reciprocate that in a way that feels like a fantasy, that feels unreal. How open they are for you, how much they trust you. They genuinely desire and want the plastic. Let's take that group of women that actually will take the real thing. Okay, let's put them here, right? Let's just automatically knock three quarters of those girls out right now. You have this thing. It's the real thing. Let's just push that a little higher. Um, the fake thing. You can change the size. Any size you want. The biggest you can think of, we can have. That's crazy, like imagine that versatility. And I'm not just talking about length, I'm talking about texture. I'm talking about girth. I'm talking about all the dimensions. Even how much it can bend, twist and turn, vibrate, change color. We can choose any color, we can make glitter. We make glitter, a uh, glass. The real thing, the one thing you have. And then you have a mega mall. I can have as many as I want. Look at that, I could keep going too, it doesn't end. And it just gets better, the technology just gets better, it's crazy. Oh, but it is not real and we can't feel it, huh? That is an argument they make too, that sucks, you know? It really does, no, generally it does. It sucks that we can't feel it. But honestly, I'm glad, I'm very glad I cannot feel it like that, like how you guys do. Because what happens when you get in there and you're hyped up, like, oh, you're just, you're just ready, right? It's incredible, you're feeling so many things, there's so many, nerve endings, and, and all this goes straight to here. I did hear that some of y'all only last like three seconds when it happens. <laughs> they were saying on average, y'all last 13 minutes. You're not embarrassed about that, that fact. I've had sex with men. I understand what happens. You get very caught up, you get sucked in, right? You just can't even like control it because it just happens. And say you can control it, you're pretty good at that. So you finish, you gotta, you gotta take a break, right? You gotta get that, that thing flowing again. You need a second. Yeah, lesbians don't take breaks like that. We stop for quick water breaks and because we're fucking exhausted. Neither party has to worry about the cheese, the nasty. A lot of you guys transfer things. It's disgusting. It's, it's really gross. You don't take care of it. And it's attached to you. You think you would do something like that? This is crazy. It smells. Yeah, no, we just, we put in some boiling water. Yeah, you just, you know, wash it, soap and water right after you're done. We have containers to keep it disconfected. There's literally non-porous dildos out there. It does not soak in the STDs. The plastic ain't stuck with herpes. It's almost like a superpower, isn't it? It's kind of sounding like it at this point. It's like, wow, there's so many options, so many things you can avoid. How it can literally stay hard forever? Like ever. It doesn't go soft ever. Some can curve in the right position. Say she doesn't even want a big one. She wants something really small, but she still wants the action. That's easy, I can get what you need. You'll be so satisfied, I can actually make you come. I'm not talking like two, three times. No, I need you to think a little differently. On average, every two to five minutes it happens. That's just on one party too. But you can't feel it, how can you get off? That, you know, that's a good point. We did talk about intimacy though. It's that fantasy though. It's that, oh my God, she's willing to go in any position. She's down for new things. She's freaky. She's not your freaky, she's lesbian freaky. And you know how to work hips? You're a woman, you have hips. You understand what feels good. You're watching The View. You're watching her facial reactions and she's in the moment. She's like, oh my God, like I feel you giving it to me. And we're completely avoiding all those effects. We're just going, it's lasting. But besides the mental stimulation, there's also something happening. Did you forget about the harness part? We might have to look a little weird putting it on. It might be a little funny moment, but that goes out the door as soon as we get it on. You guys don't know how harnesses are. That thing, that, that's a harness. So what's attached to it is the plastic and a little front part. That front part can be adjusted. If you claim you know a woman and you know how to touch her, we all know that this type of friction, that grab, that pull on a woman, most love it. That little thing there, the clit, 
That has the most nerve endings. You should know this, right? Woman's anatomy. You should be studying our parts. If you really say you good in bed, you'll be on the same page. I know you following, mm hmm This is just a little bump. It extends back. So because we're feeling friction and then we're getting this view, it doesn't matter how good it feels to be inside her. Because we can feel that. We know what's going on in there. We have it. Because you know when you guys are about to have that moment at the same time, we can have it almost on command and with them almost every single time. We're not in her, but we are in her. I know what you're feeling. I know how good this feels. I know I can see it in your face. I'm, I'm gonna make it happen right now. I don't have to worry about what that's saying, but this is talking to me. And if we connect it like that, we get that same connection every time with them. That satisfaction of satisfying a woman is sexy. I hope this sticks with your mind next time you're about to talk shit about us. We all genuinely agree that we're, there's no conversation here. There never was. And please know every time you say something or go out of your way to make content for us, we're laughing. And all the other superiority complexes that you have. There's nothing similar about what happens here. None of you will fully understand because you are not a woman. And if you have an obsession with us, just say that. I'm gonna just leave it all at that. <laughs> Peace.